Hello, my name is Human Asgari and I reside in Sweden currently doing my master's uh, in uh, media and communication studies. I have been asked to talk about the effects of the economic sanctions imposed by our country and how they have uh, affected me as a person and the persons around me, my family and my dears and nears. So, I'd like to talk about the specific case of my younger brother, my only brother, who currently resides in Iran and holds a bachelor degree in computer engineering. Like many other youngsters of his age, my brother also wanted to, and always wished for, pursuing his education at a higher level in an international university outside Iran, which is why he aspired for and tried hard for some years before he could get uh, an exemption from his military service and get his passport and you know collect some money and get some help from our parents and then get admission from a foreign university and then leave the country which by the way he did and uh, he could finally uh, materialize his wish uh, last year. So he left the country, he went and enrolled in the new, you know, in the new university and uh, just after some time of arriving into the uh, destination, unfortunately the value of the Iranian real, thanks to the sanctions, uh, plummeted against uh, the international currencies. And uh, the American dollar value skyrocketed. So the money that he had taken with him and the money he had was not enough to support his education and his stay in the new country anymore. And of course, given the fact that we come from a middle class family in Iran, we were hit very hard and it was impossible for my parents to fund his education. So because of that, my brother had to return to Iran again and uh, and forget about his further education. So right now, with, a, with an engineering degree in hand that is of no use, a hope that has been shattered before his eyes, and an education opportunity which never fully came to bear any fruit. He is now just spending his days in Iran in anticipation and in hope of better days and just wishing for some change or some kind of a miracle or some kind of uh, turning point that hopefully will come our way and hopefully will come the way of all the other peers of us who are still residing in that, in that country and who are hit the worst, who are affected the worst and uh, they are even deprived of the very normal, wonderful possibilities that life has to offer and other guys and girls in other countries, especially in the Western world, take for granted the right to pursue education, the right to choose the university of your own choice in any country in the world, and the right to not to be worried about your studies and what you're going to do with your future life and getting a decent employment opportunity. So that was the story I had to share with you. And I really hope that the international community and the decision makers will come to their senses and find some more effective ways of dealing with the Iranian dilemma 
without putting the pressure on the Iranian civil society and us, a generation that have already been hot, hit hard and uh, are already called the burnt generation. We already have enough on our plate. Don't add to the problem, please, if you cannot solve it. Thank you.